Welcome back, it's Mike Mutzel here. Today we're gonna to unbox the Muse Brain Sensing Headband. It's a really cool way to learn how to meditate, to learn how to self-regulate your emotions. So if you ever experience things like anxiety, depression, sleeplessness, you know, you're sitting there in bed, your thoughts are racing, your mind's chattering, or you do presentations, maybe you interview people, maybe you speak from a stage, or maybe in your workplace, you're a teacher, uh, you're an executive, a manager of some sort, and you get anxious and anxiety before you get up in front of a group. Well, this headband can really train your brain in a way that, for me, no other device that I've ever come in contact with has. It's a quantitative EEG device. So it's a way to kind of map out your brain EEG stands for electric encephalography. So it's a way to kind of see what your brain waves are doing. And so it's gonna give you feedback when you're in a calm brainwave state so that you understand how it feels to be calm. So let's unbox it. I'm gonna share with you some data and ways that I found to actually hit really high alpha brainwave levels, which are associated with feelings of calm and zen and being in that quote unquote meditative state. So let's unbox it. Here's the box that it comes in. On the side is some details and background about what it does and some of the science and how to use it and so forth. But it's really pretty simple. So you have this travel case right here and inside is the neurofeedback quantitative EEG device. So I'm going to unzip this and all, all else that's in here is this cord. It's one of these USB 3, I think is what it's called. So it's really universal. So here is what it looks like when you open it up. So here's what it looks like. This is the seven point quantitative EEG device. So there's an electrode on the ears, there's one right here, then there's two in the forehead, and then some other sensors here that help to make sure that it's calibrated. So the first thing you need to do is charge it. That was one lesson that I learned. I wanted to use it right away, but, and so there's two different charging ports. I just plug one right here. Uh, it doesn't really matter which side you charge. It charges pretty quickly. Okay, so now that I do this for 20 minutes twice a day, I end up charging it literally like every third day or so. Okay, so that's the unboxing. Let me share with you a few tips that I've learned after having the Muse for a little while. The first things first is I like to pair it before I put it on my head because otherwise you're gonna take it on and off a few times. So what you do is you just hold the button once. If you hold it for more than five seconds, it's gonna blink five times and that will reset it, which I don't encourage you to do unless you're having issues. So just press the button once. Then I put my phone on airplane mode. That's important because you wanna get all these messages about Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, texting and so forth while you're trying to meditate. Then you open up the Muse app. I make sure again that it connects before I put it on my head because if there's any issues with it connecting, poor battery or resyncing a Bluetooth, I don't wanna have to take it on and off, okay? So what it's doing is it's thinking. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. Now, what I've noticed is you have to go into the settings panel on your iPhone and actually uh, sometimes make sure to manually um, sync it. So now that I'm here where it says check your signal quality, what I do is then I put it on my head, all right? Now, if you have longer hair like me or you're a woman and with long hair, you gotta kind of finagle it a little bit. If you, I noticed that if you have hair around your earlobes, you know, kind of like me, you gotta push it back. Sometimes I'll have sunglasses on and I'll move that back. So now it's thinking. And again, sometimes it sinks right away. Other times it takes a little while. Sit in a comfortable position. So it goes through this one minute calibration sequence. Now, sometimes I get annoyed by this. Try not to let yourself get annoyed. I start meditating right here. So I take a deep breath. When you hear each category, try to think of as many things that fit in that category as possible. Ready? Here's your first category. Movies. Then it'll ask you, you know, name kitchen utensils, name places in North America, name shapes, name, you know, top websites. It goes through these various things and I'll let you have 15 seconds for that category, then I'll switch category. This is, again, only a one minute calibration, but it does it every time you start this up. So what I like to do is just sit there and start meditating, start breathing, take a scan of my body, feel any spots of tension, any pressure, any pain points, any itches, you know, just try to be present right away and then think of those things casually, but don't let it stress you out. So after that one minute calibration sequence, then what you're gonna be able to do is meditate. Now, once you've done say a 10 minute session and you wanna do another 10 minute session, once it's calibrated, you don't have to recalibrate, which is pretty cool. But here's some tips to help you get into that calm state, to help to improve your emotional self-regulation, to help to improve some of the communication networks within your brain and to get into that meditative calm state. What I found, number one, is that by doing yoga beforehand, even if it's just doing a downward dog, stretching out my hip flexors, 
doing a happy baby pose, doing, you know, lotus pose, you know, going through a couple of poses, it really helps to accelerate that process of getting into that meditative high alpha brainwave state. Now, when you're in that state, what's going to happen is birds are going to chirp and the ocean waves are going to become calm. Now, here's a little feedback too that I found. If the volume is too high, you know, on the iPhone when it's going through these motions, uh, it tends to be distracting. And so you're thinking upon, you're trying to like, be calm and not have judgmental thoughts and just be present and focus on your breath, but then you hear all these, these chirping in the waves and it, so if it's too loud, it's kind of distracting. So I put the phone like two feet away from me, turn the volume down to only two bars on my iPhone. That way I can hear it just enough so that I know that when I'm calm, I, I can again help, that helps me with this neurofeedback process and training of my brain to know when I'm in a calm state versus a you know disruptive state but it's not overpowering. If it's too loud, you're gonna be distracted by it. So those are two tips that I found. Number three, go into the meditation, go into this Muse Quantitative EEG feedback session with no intention of like performing well for the device. Because if you're focusing too well on the numbers, you're not gonna be present. So I just focus on improving brain health. That's my intention, that's what I do. This is my brain fitness, that's why you should do this too. And so that's my intention there. I'm not trying to score real high or score real low or focus on you know achievement. I'm just trying to improve brain fitness, be present, be mindful, and focus on my breath. So that, that's been a huge tip that's helped me hit brain waves of you know 90% calm and so forth, you know, and I'll show you uh, what that looks like. And so the other thing going on vacation that actually some of my highest brain waves since you know playing around with this in November have been achieved while on vacation. And so what did I do on vacation? Well, I ate better, I slept better, I got up with the, the sun, I went to bed when the sun you know set, and I was doing a lot of yoga. So it goes back to that first tip that I shared with you. If you do a little bit of yoga before you do the quantitative EEG device, but you know, this Muse biofeedback device, it can really help you to get into that calm state. Number three, what I found is taking Zymogen's Relax Max. It's a really nice formula that has myelin acetal, theanine, taurine, GABA, and magnesium that helps to improve your quantitative EEG scores. So there you have it, the Muse Brain Sensing Headband. Let me know what you think. Type in a comment or question below this video. Have you done any neurofeedback before? Maybe have you been meditating? What do you think about all this stuff? Let me know. Either way, you can also check out the links below this video. I'll have links to the Amazon link where you can learn more about Muse and buy that off Amazon if you're Amazon Prime customer you may like that and also if you go to meditationaid.com you can get uh, directly in touch with Muse and check out some of the videos that they have and learn a little bit more about their device so thanks for tuning in thanks for subscribing I appreciate you guys and we'll catch you on the next video